So this is a sales ledger question here. And you've got the sales ledger account for Zara Z. Um, you're going to complete it by inserting the balance carried down together with the date and details, insert the totals, insert the balance brought down together with the date and details. Yeah. Um, it's an eight mark question, but realistically, uh, you should be knocking this out probably in, in three. Um, I'm going to so come, come back in three minutes, but also as well, the important thing on this one is, is to you know, we'll go through the, the question, or the answer really, but exactly has to be very neat and make sure that you get this right every time, not just getting it right in this this question, but getting it right every time. And so I'll take you through the example of exactly how to get it, get it correct. Right, but three minutes, come back and then, then um, good luck. Okay, so that's time. Um, now I've gone through and let's let's go through the answer here. So basically, this, this is a T account here. So we've got the, we've got our T account here, 
and what I do is, is I always tend to I total my columns up first before I put the carry down figure in there. A little bit to just notice here as well, the exam has made a bit of a mistake. This is an AAT, AAT um, uh, exam. Right? So here we see the inconsistency we see between the brought forward and this brought down. It's a little bit inconsistent really from the, from the examiner's point of view. Um, just point that out. Uh, so here we have our totals here and then we're going to I always, I always like to total them up first, uh, uh, and I deduct from one from the other to come up with whatever the thing is to get the get the two sides to equal each other, and then I retotal them. So in terms of checking your work, this way you just total the two columns, two columns up first, see whichever one's the smallest one, deduct that from the other one, put the figure in that side to make sure that it balances, retotal it, you know, and that makes sure that this carry down figure is always going to be in the right place. And always going to be total the correct thing because if it doesn't if this doesn't then rebalance when you retotal it you know that you just made a bit of a mistake within within your your calculate with your calculator in the exam so that's what checking your work is about really trying to find little techniques throughout the exam that means that you're you actually know that you're coming out with it and that's a hundred percent right if you were so you come through you've done it once it's in the total you've done it again right it's exactly the same that cannot be wrong then at that point in here in terms of the dates, um, so we start off here with the 1st of October as the brought forward figure. You know, it should be the brought, brought down figure if we're going for these options in here. And then, so that's the 1st of October. So the end of the month is going to be the, um, thing, because what it says is the close of the day. So this is the close of the period here is the end of it. Now, it could be a question that uh, it, won't, it won't ever do this, but you could theoretically have you know different periods of that that's at the end of the month but it's always going to stick to the end of the month um, so that was the end of the month here and that's the carried down figure here and then that comes across then to be in the brought down so if it was asking so there we go we've got one which is the carry down figure which comes into here these would have nothing in there there's nothing to go into those ones ones there because this is the carried down side here and yeah, we've got that nothing so we've got 31st october into there carry down into here and then the balance of ten thousand and two pounds totaling it up fifteen thousand two hundred and forty one on either side uh, in those two and then the brought down figures on the first of the following month so first of november brought down ten thousand and two but by pr pr producing this t account here uh, and doing that little method where you're totaling up first deducting the smaller from the larger figure then retotaling it always means that you'll be you'll be right on, on on this question that's the important little 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 trick really there and in terms of the dates then just in terms of, sort of noting when, when the when the date when the period ends and starts really.